When you write after effects expression, you need to have a clear idea about what is a variable, what is an array, what is a function, what is a method. Right, in this video, I'm going to explain what is an array. This is a really useful concept to understand. Let's go to the after effects and see what is an array. So the definition of array is a set of ordered numbers, right? So that doesn't mean something to you, right? So let me give you an example. If you take the position property of an After Effects layer, it contains X value, Y value, and Z value, right? If it is a 3D layer. Now here you can see set of ordered numbers. These are X, Y, Z, right? See, so these are ordered numbers. And you can see each number is separated by comma, right? So inside After Effects, uh, there are some rules uh, when we write arrays, right? So let me explain this. You should uh, write an array within uh, square brackets. Right, within square bracket like this. So these are square brackets, right? So you should write an array like, like uh, inside this uh, square bracket and each value should be separated by a comma like this. like this now this is an array let's say this is uh, uh, for example uh, position of the layer let's say this is x value this is y value and this is z value right so let me do that inside after effects so i add the expression to the position value and i'm going to define an array right so i create uh, variables a equal and the value of the a is uh, pick flip to the x value right like this transform position so you can see this uh, zero within uh, square bracket that mentioning that is the x right so now i create another variable b equals and b value is set to the y value you can use the pick flip tool and uh, let me expand this now i create an another array and sorry variable c and i link that to the z value like this now I'm going to create uh, another variable called D and D is the array, right? So that is a set of numbers. So I, within the square brackets, I type uh, A comma B comma C, right? So now uh, you can see we have created an array. So these are the, uh, this is the final result. So D is the position value. Now for the position value, we have created the three variables, A, B, C, uh, and we have combined it into an array, right? So we have also defined the each variable, mentioning the X position, Y position, and Z position like this. You can see this is X position, this is Y position, and this is Z uh, position. Now we have created the array, right? So now we can do a lot of cool things uh, using this array. Let's say for example, we want to wiggle this uh, only the Z axis on this layer. We can easily delete this part and we can apply the wiggle to the C variable. Let's say we type the wiggle and uh, we type the frequency and amplitude like this. And when we apply this, you can see it is uh, wiggling only Z axis, right? So that is the usage of array, right? So we can separate uh, each value into separate variables and we can combine each variable as an array like this. And then we can uh, wiggle each axis uh, using this uh, wiggle command. You should have this uh, part, right? So this is the one that define uh, we should, uh, the layer should wiggle only along the Z axis, right? So hope you guys get an idea about what is an array in After Effects expression. Uh, keep, in mind, keep in mind the basic rule of writing an array. It should be within square brackets and each value of the array should be separated by comma like this. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to Anti-VFX, please subscribe to Anti-VFX. Uh, you can learn a lot of uh, cool things uh, in this channel. You can support the channel. I'll be back with the next uh, video. Thanks.